Are you afraid to try new things? Let's talk about this. All right, all right. What's up, everybody? This is Marshall Lee of DonkeyJawProjects.com, and today we're talking about trying new things. But first, let's talk about what we're doing here. Uh, once again, this is Take Me to Your Leader Tuesday with uh, a, a challenge that I created with um, Scott Circlin. You may know him from the popular YouTube channel Cirqueworks and uh, all his awesome stuff he's doing over there. Don't forget to check out his new um, Comic Maker Toolkit, which you can use the code in the link down below. There's a code. Uh, and you can get a discount off of the Comic Maker Toolkit, which is freaking awesome. There's so much really great resources there for uh, co uh, comic book creators. And uh, once again, this is the uh, challenge, the Take Me to Your Leader Tuesday challenge. And, and I would say he's doing one today too. So go over to his channel and check it out uh, when you're done watching this one. There'll be a link in, in the description. And there should also be... A video link right at the end of the video anyways so without further ado let's talk about trying new things well actually let's first talk about this guy I'm creating here um, or gal I don't even know if it's a guy or a girl you know to be honest but who cares <laughs> um, it's an alien we know that much and uh, basically I just had this idea you can kind of see the head forming already but I had this idea of like this long head with these little kind of weird antennae like coming out of the sides that was it just a flash in my head and I'm like okay I want to do that and then I was like let me think of a gesture that would be fun to do with that you know instead of just drawing him standing there uh, so I thought of a gesture this was one I've seen this kind of gesture before but it's a fun one and I'm doing it um, so uh, I thought you know let's have him him or her shooting a laser thingy. I think it's more of a him. I mean, it's kind of got the body physique of a him, but you know, those eyelashes and some of the colors you'll see later are interesting. Um, but anyways, uh, so yeah, trying new things, you know, it's, it's, uh, something that I know can be fearful. You know, the, the unknown is, is kind of the most fearful thing for most people. Um, I personally like change. I like kind of diving into the unknown a lot but sometimes I am a little bit squeamish about it um, and sometimes I do resist change I, I try not to be like that anymore but uh, you know there's certain things that I like a certain way or have liked in the past a certain way and you know it sucks sometimes when you have to make a lot of changes or something but you know change can be good and and actually you know I learned this from my mom she kind of really told me things like you know because we would we had to move a lot when we were younger and you know the way she would frame it as she would make it like oh it's like it's a new adventure you know you get to meet new people and do new things and stuff and so I've always kind of had that attitude for the most part um, when change comes and right now I'm going through a lot of changes too uh, with work and stuff as I've talked about in other videos in my channel um, but you know I'm trying to you know make the best out of what it is and think of it more of an advent as an adventure than anything um so there's a lot of things though that i've been trying lately within um my art and within social media that have been a little bit of a challenge but also have taught me a lot of new things um one thing is tiktok i've been on there if you want to find me on tiktok or instagram or twitter uh i'm marsh comics on there kind of similar to marsh makes comics here but over there i'm marsh comics uh so you know on tiktok though it's been kind of a new experience i've also been on linkedin lately too but i forget how what that link is but um you know i'm trying that that's kind of a new thing for me but tiktok especially it's it's kind of you know i love doing video and stuff but this is like a different form of video it's kind of like the old app that used to be popular vine and other ones maybe kind of like snapchat or something it's got the longer format you know the up and down um what is that the vertical format for the um phone that you can use and and that you know it works with and it's also shorter videos it's 15 seconds to 60 seconds you know either you know you can kind of go anywhere in between those or even less actually but um you know 15 seconds is kind of 
I think the sweet spot there, um, you know, it depends. Some people do longer videos, but you can also use other sounds that people have created. And for some reason, it doesn't seem to work. Uh, the 60 second ver version doesn't work um, when you're trying to do like uh, sounds from other creators. But anyways, I'm going on a weird tangent. So one thing I'm learning here um, is, you know, I make a lot of YouTube videos, obviously, and uh, one thing that's really important is watch time minutes and you want to basically keep it super interesting for people um, throughout the whole video so that people keep watching and they, they watch through the whole video. And so, uh, you know, with these little 15 second videos, um, there's all these like little tricks you can do to kind of make it interesting. And I'm learning how to do that, you know, so I can kind of apply that with YouTube. Same thing with coloring here. I've learned some things. I, I'm not, you know, somebody... I, who has done a lot of digital coloring in the past but as of late i've been doing it a lot and i'm coloring um, a comic book right now and it's i was afraid to do it and i almost backed out from coloring this comic that i'm working on right now uh but i've been i said no you know what i'm going to use this as a chance to really start getting better at coloring and it's mostly the mechanics of using the digital i i kind of already have a decent a semi-decent um, hold on color theory. I'm still very much learning it, but um, you know, a, a decent enough to make some things look pretty cool. Now my style's a little bit messy, and you can see this is the finished uh, product. And I was doing a different kind of lighting than I usually do, and and it's an experiment. And I'm learning new things and getting better. And I don't know. Let me know what you think. I don't have a name for this guy. I just call him Laser Shooter, you know, so or Laser Jumper or something like that. But I need a name. You guys got to help me out with that. So put in the comments what you think this character's name is and what do you think is it a he or a she let me know and go check out scott's video today too it's really awesome on take me to your leader tuesday